So Invisible String, when I first heard the track that you sent me, I thought this, I have to write something that matches it. And pretty quickly I came upon the idea of fate because sometimes I just, you know, go into a rabbit hole of thinking of how things happen. And I kind of love the romantic idea that every step you're taking, you're taking one step closer to where you're supposed to be, you know, guided by this little like invisible string. <laughs> I remember when I bought this little guitar that has a rubber bridge, which you have one now too, but it, yeah, it has you, this like- Yeah, you got uh, me one and sent yeah. it to me. And it was like, I couldn't believe opening up this like beautiful, isn't it a 50s guitar? That's It is from the late 50s wow. and it's been like uh, renovated so that the bridge deadens the strings and it sounds really old and it's just a really kind of writes songs for you in a way because mm -hmm. um, it's so fun to play and that was the first one that I wrote with it and then you wrote this incredible song that is all about fate and that was another moment where I just felt there was this serendipity happening between us and crazy chemistry um, as far as like but making it was you took exactly what I had written and it was as though we wrote it together in a room or something. I remembered I wrote it right after I sent uh, an ex a baby gift, <laughs> like, and I was just like, man, life is great. Just and I just remembered thinking like, this is this is a full signifier that life is great.